Wayne County's airport authority has seen its share of scandal over the years. The name Turkia Awada Mullen created commotion there five years ago. Sure did. Let's take a look at the uh, Detroit Metro Airport from our sky cam as we report the airport authority not saying a lot after getting swindled out of more than a million dollars. The alleged swindler, a local businessman who has a pretty high profile. The weather of the last couple of days, particularly this morning, tells you why it is that they need de-icing equipment out here at Metro Airport, but not just for the planes, also for the parking deck. But what happens when you don't get the de-icing you're supposed to receive? You call the cops. The FBI and the airport authority claim this man, Gary Tenegli of Rochester, contracted to apply a substance called NAAC to the 6500 space big blue deck at Metro Airport's North Terminal during wintry weather. The charging document says back in 2011, Teneglia, through a company called Envision, collected a million and a half dollars to do so, but never ordered the de-icer and just pocketed the cash. Teneglia is well known as the guy who purchased the old Big Buck Brewery. A couple of years ago, he sold and removed the famed highway side beer bottle, then opened an entertainment complex there called The Hub. Still, the alleged airport caper was not his first brush with the law. Back in 1999, he pleaded guilty to stealing electricity from DTE after he allegedly split an electrical main and then ran a cable from his neighbor's house to his, then gated Washington Township estate. And Tenaglia is used to the millionaire good life. His 12,000 square foot Rochester mansions up for sale comes complete with a varnished wooden helicopter hangar, an outdoor luxury pool, and lots of high end extras. Asking price just under $5 million. Here's the airport authority statement quote, WCAA has been fully cooperative in the investigation pertaining to the alleged actions that occurred between 2012 and 2014. However, we cannot comment further at this time given the pending proceedings. End quote. Tenaglia has not been arraigned, but he's officially been charged with wire fraud. We'll see how all of this plays out. But just minutes ago, I did get an email from the airport authority, and they did say that Tenaglia was supposed to remove snow from the upper decks and the open spaces, the terraces on the big blue deck. And they say that they canceled the contract when they discovered that the work was not getting done. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.